What are some of the things when you started getting into the uh, in, into the art world that you had to learn about? Um, well, there's there's several things. I mean, you quickly learn how galleries operate. You quickly learn how collectors operate. Um, how do they operate? They operate differently. Um, not every collector is the same. You know, the collectors, you have collectors that buy work because they know you as a person and they love you as a person and they want to support your craft and they, they have, they see a lot of potential in you and your work. Um, you have the collector that doesn't really care about who the artist is. They just really like the work and, you know, they have an attachment towards the work. So therefore they collect based off that. You have collectors who there's a term in the art world that isn't necessarily uh, a nice term, but it's called flippers. You know, you have the spectators who buy art solely as an investment. You buy the collectors that see uh, a growing artist and they want to buy their work at a really low price at the in the beginning. And then, you know, it, try to uh, collect the profit on the second, mar on the, you know, secondary market. Um, so collectors, they're, they, they're different. And then you have the people that, that love art, they've never bought art and they don't really know much about collecting art. So then they, they buy stuff that they're familiar with, um, stuff that other people are familiar with. You know, they buy artists that are very mainstream, very well known, so they don't really know how to collect. And then they trust their art advisor or, you know, art dealer to create a collection for them, you know, it's a, it's art by advisor's job to let them know that hey this is good work to to you know collect this will be great for your collection you have um you have all kinds of aspects for the for the collector um for the galleries you know galleries some galleries operate differently some galleries really love their artists that they represent and they want to build them they want to they want to really help them develop and grow you have galleries that are solely interested in making a profit and just you know, getting as much money as out of an artist as they can. You have the galleries that aren't even really familiar with, but either, you know, that don't really have the collector base to make a profit or they just, they want to be a well-known gallery and they're just willing to take in new talent, you know what I mean? And, and try to find themselves. Um, so each part of the art world is very different. You have groups of, of all these different individuals and, and it's really hard to pinpoint but as an artist I, I had to learn who my collector was which galleries I wanted to be in which directors I wanted to associate with and the type of artwork that I wanted to create over the years I've, I've kind of sharpened and, and narrowed down that that path and, and that kind of direction for myself so and it's still that that you know that blade is still being sharpened because I've met you know, I still meet people that I realize that aren't necessarily a good fit for me or my work. So um, it's a trial and error thing. You know, it's kind of like being a musician and finding the right label for you. You know, what label is going to be uh, working in your best interest? You know, sometimes people don't always work in your best interest. So it's not always a good play. Do you feel as pressured to try to reach... A point where a gallery, like like auction houses, or do you think that artists now have to feel pressure to get into those spaces? Or I'm not entirely sure that a lot of artists want to be in those spaces because, at least for me, in my opinion, I want my work to end up in the hands of whoever loves it, who who and everyone in the world. Like and my art isn't for everyone, but it's for anyone. You know, so anyone who can who can acquire my work and I'd love for them to have it. You know, I, I, auction houses, they, they're built to, to, uh, create a profit and to oftentimes, you know, w by default, they inflate artists price work. And, and, you know, once, once an artist is, you know, in the millions, not a lot of people can afford that work. And they, ha they, there's a smaller, uh, bracket you know for people who can afford that work so you have to constantly please those uh collectors you have to make sure that you know the work that you're producing is on par and because if they don't collect i mean people who can't afford millions of dollars worth of artwork they're not going to be able to to collect whereas like my work isn't in the millions of dollars so i have a larger collector base where people can still afford my work 
Um, as far as like, the gallery space, there are um, big galleries that I would love to show just because they put on really great shows. Uh, galleries like Gagosian Gallery or Pyroton Gallery or Jeffrey Dyche Gallery. Those galleries are premier galleries. They they put on really great shows and they have uh, an amazing body of of supporters and collectors and and like they have like the collectors who have real collections people who are collecting like picassos and warhols and basquiat's and herrings and monets and monets and, and real heavy like classical artworks and and new stuff you know um so i want i would love to be part of those collections because those collections, you know, might end up in a museum someday and, and they have a lot of credibility and like prestige behind them. So those collections are, are great to be in. And those people, you know, they're, they're going to appreciate the artwork like to the fullest. Um, but I think a lot of artists, they do feel some degree of pressure because there's a lot of artists nowadays that, that they see how big artists can become and how much money that an artist can make. But they don't realize that oftentimes, you know, when they're when they're selling stuff at the auction houses, an artist isn't really collecting that money because it's a secondary market. You know, unless unless you know an artist is taking their artwork straight to auction themselves and then they're, you know, collecting all the money, you know, they can auction off their own work. Um, they have those collectors, but a lot there's a lot of it, the the art world is it's kind of nasty you know it's like you want to be an artist but an artist who wants to do this they have to do this just for the love of it they they have to come in the, if they're worried about being part of anything else then they're just going to they're going to eat themselves alive you know it's it, they can't feel pressured and and um feel obligated to try to and end up in that, in that, you know, in that arena, um, that stuff takes time. And, and, uh, I don't know. I, I definitely don't feel pressured. I just want to produce bigger and better work. That's it. And wherever it ends up, so be it. You know, I, I, I know that I want to be in good collections and I want to uh, have like really good shows, but if my work never made the auction house, I, I, I don't see that as a big of a deal because it's, it's played out, it's overrated and it's, you know, if once my work, say my work ends up in millions, which is great and all, because it's a great, like, you know, achievement. And you're like, wow, my work is worth that much. Someone is willing to pay that much. But at the end of the day, it's also a spectator sport. You know, it's really a bunch of people just flashing how much money they have, you know. So I never really cared about what the price of the work sells for or what people think about it or where it is. I just, as long as people love it and the collectors who do collect it, that they appreciate it. So, I mean, once they buy it, you know, I mean, they could do whatever they want with it. But at the end of the day, if it's, you know, it's still my work, you know, it's still my property. And, and, and they're just holding on to it for me. And for someone to hold on to it for me and, and appreciate it, that's cool, you know.